Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're jumping back into some more Project Architect. So I hope you guys are ready. So we are back, and boy, do we have some fun stuff to work on. Uh, we are still working with RF Tools Dimensions. There's so much that we can do with this that I just I just want to play with this this dimension more and more and more. Um, so we did end up getting some of the common uh, the common dimensional essence. Now I believe that these this essence right here it's a lot rarer, of course, to find as it is rare. And then we also have the legendary, which is even harder to find. Um, but I don't know if they require like a dimension with a higher rarity or uh, a dimension with uh, materials that are of higher rarity. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that may be the case because I, I ended up going in the last dimension uh, and spent a lot of time in it and I did not find anything but the commons. Um, however, I can use the commons to hopefully make a higher tier dimension. Um, and for that, we need to get into industrial foregoing. <laughs> I know, this is, sounds crazy. Um, but we are going to be using a mob duplicator. Um, I should be able to go ahead and request one of those. Super simple. I love that refined storage has this feature. If you don't actually have it in your storage, for example, it'll highlight it in blue, meaning you can hit control and click that and it will automatically request the one item that you don't have. How cool is that? Um, so we should be processing here. By the way, let's get the um, speed upgrades in here. That's gonna help us out anytime we need more of these. Throw this in here, this and that. Perfect. So that's gonna speed things up. Um, now, this mob duplicator, it doesn't generate the mobs in a, a super large area if you don't want it to. It is based off of the range upgrades. Um, so let's go ahead and just, we're just gonna throw this inside of our current mob farm that we have set up. And where should I place this? Let's turn the lights on here. Let's see, I can probably place it like a couple of blocks, a block a block away from here. Like place it one block, we'll place it right here. Now the only real thing that this is going to need is power. Um, so I'm going to need a point. And uh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use a wireless. I'm going to use another wireless node to just transfer this over. Don't know why. There we go. There we go. Output. As much as I have this, uh, like this armor, I also hate it at the same time. Um, so we're generating power, but this also needs the mob tool. And then it also needs to be linked to one of these. So I might end up just making another fluid uh, node and then hooking these to it. Yep, that's probably what's gonna happen. I think that would be the best. And we can set this right here. Um, so I believe I can throw another one of these on here and this will uh, actually split. Remember I said about the pants and the boots? I think it's the boots. No, it's definitely, definitely the pants. Okay, so yeah, I put these here and then I swap that. And now we have fluid going in here, which is perfect, essence. Um, I don't know what that's linked to, but whatever it is, it's completely full. So we don't have to worry about it. And then a GPS. And there we go. All we gotta do is link this and we're gonna have some slimes start spawning as soon as we have this all linked up. So place this in here. And then I need to get a range upgrade. Well, this they're spawning on top of this. Actually, you know what? Let's pull this out of here. Go ahead and, and kill these guys. <laughs> They've all built up. They are dropping the essence. I forgot that this thing actually uh, basically works better on the floor. So yeah, we, we should place this thing just literally on the floor. <laughs> Um, and I'm fine with it spawning mobs directly on top. I'm completely okay with that. There we go. And out. It's receiving power. Make sure it has the proper mob in it. Oh, <laughs> uh, the things I forget. There's so many things in modded and I just can't remember everything. So yeah, it's going to spawn it right there. This is going to kill it. And as you can see, we're starting to build up on those, which is perfect. All right, let's turn your magnet on. We're going to see... I'm going to pick up literally everything that's in there. But yeah, 
perfect. So we have that generating. I don't need to leave this running for long. Um, we can literally swap this out to any mob if we need any other materials. It's let's say not EMCable, um, which we probably will have to get into eventually. But yeah, we can leave this running for a little bit and uh, we should hopefully be able to uh, get into making some custom dimensions. So when it comes to creating our own demo, let's go ahead and take a look at the flatter one right here. Um, so that hopefully this will get us a nice flat biome. Um, so by default, it tells us in here that we're gonna need uh, a couple of circuits. We're gonna need this right here, common energy module, and then we need a common memory module, just a common version. Um, and then we're gonna need a bit of the RF tools dimensional shards and a pressure plate. So let's go ahead and uh, make these things. So we're gonna need one of these, which is the common energy module. And then this, um, now after this, these two things are made, we're also going to need a empty attribute module. Since this is an attribute, we need an empty one because we're going to be filling that. And then, uh, this, this, this part can be kind of confusing after we get our, uh, of course, pressure plate. Um, this can be kind of confusing because when you, you pop in here, you don't really know exactly what you're doing. Um, and you're looking in here like I have it clicked. I don't know what to do. Well, this goes in this slot. This goes here. This goes here. Pressure plate surprisingly goes in that spot that looks like a fluid. And then you just fill out this and then you hit create. And that is actually going to create the one you have selected here. And bam, we have the flatter attribute dimlet. Now it is a little bit more, it's a little bit co more complicated when you get into these blocks. Now the biomes are also kind of complicated as they actually require a special block. Um, so the ones for the biomes require a biome absorber, which is going to be a sponge. I'm surprised they don't have a sponge. We might have to go get a sponge, which looks like, I mean, I know where sponges exist. Is there no way to like, just make it a vi Oh yeah, that's right. The oceanographer, we can just buy it from it. That's actually something I'll probably do. Um, so yeah, these are all going to require sponges. So actually let's go get a good old sponge from an oceanographer. So yeah, all I have to do is, uh, you know, emerald this guy up a little bit. <laughs> Just trade all of my precious EMC. Like at, at the beginning, like, oh yeah, we, we need it. But like, look at this. Just buy sponge all willy nilly. Look at that. I wonder what else this guy's gonna offer. Ah, no, nothing. So now that I'm back, we should be good. So for example, the biome absorber. So all we gotta do is make this real quick. Um, let's see, does this have, okay. So at the moment it is not set. I believe like if you just want a ge like generic biome, like for example, where we're at, you just place it in the biome and just over time, it will start absorbing the biome. It just takes a little bit of time or you can speed it up like I just did. And then bam, it is uh, set to biome forest. So all I have to do is break this bad boy. And this is now set to biome forest and we should be able to get, you know, biomes filled this way. Um, now the one that I really want is swamp. I don't know if there's a higher chance of them spawning in the swamps, but uh, I mean, it's it's worth a shot. So I, I figured this might help a little bit. The block of Enderium. If we can harvest out blocks of Enderium, that would be pretty nice, right? This has some pretty decent EMC value associated to it. Not that I really need EMC, but still, we could technically do this. So uh, it's actually pretty cheap. So all we have to do is place this down, this block absorber, and then put the block next to it, I believe, or right click it. I don't actually know now. Block absorber, I'm pretty sure you would put the block next to it and it would absorb the block. It's not set to anything. Yeah, this should be, that should be what it is, like... Oh! There we go. So, yeah, we just keep doing this for a while. So there we go. We have an entire block of Enderium set here. This is going to be kind of interesting. Um, so let's do block of Enderium. Um, it needs this all across. Just a regular, okay. 
so not too much. Like literally just the dimensional shards. And then we're gonna need this and the common. All right, I'm gonna put this together. Let's see, enderium, block of enderium, line. Oh, that's right. I have to sort of change this, don't I? I have to actually make the block dimlet. This right here, blank block dimlet. Requires clay. Interesting. Throw that together. Put this here, here, and here. I think, and then this here. And then enderium, and then create. Oh my gosh. It, block of enderium, and we can set this to be whatever we really want. Okay. Um, so I definitely want the flatter... Okay, so we have hollow spheres, liquid cubes, liquid spheres, cubes. I want cubes of enderium. That's actually going to look kind of cool because I think they multi-block together. Blocks of obsidian. Oh, that's molten obsidian. Okay, I want to look through here. I think we should be able to get by with the stuff that we have. Um, I did do the flatter um, because I do not want the world to be generated in the other way. There's the forest. Um, we have jung jungle, war motions, mountains. I definitely think, man, and it also would be nice if it was internal night because I really want those rare ones. So I don't know how expensive this dimension is going to be, but oh boy. What is it? Enderium? I don't even know how to spell enderium. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, enderium. Let's generate this store. By the way, if you ever like create a dimension and you want to destroy it, you can extract, you can put your dimension back in and extract everything that you put into it. So don't feel like it's lost just because of that. Um, so I'm going to pull this one out. Let's realize the new dimension and it's actually really cheap for the amount of EMC that's going to be generated from it. That's going to be pretty crazy, actually. Okay, so this dimension is ready to go. Enderium dimension. Dial. I am... I, I did set it to a single biome of swamp. Oh, man. This looks like something from sci-fi. A sci-fi movie. Oh, boy. And, like, we should definitely see some slimes and stuff spawn on these areas since there's nowhere else for mobs to really spawn they should totally spawn up here but the it, box of enderium it's this is whoa okay so it takes a moment for it to to fully uh you know <laughs> expose the fact that we just mined all of that i guess because of the connected texture oh my just this alone is 3 million EMC per stack. And you just mine this for days. Or use a builder. Or whatever. I mean... Ah... Uh, goodness. But, hey, look. These spawn. Which means there's a high likelihood... Ooh, that we can find even more of these. Yes. And hopefully it'll become dark enough. What is this? Stripped jungle wood. Wow, that actually looks really good. Like mixed in with that. That's kind of cool. So talk about some lag. Wow. Uh, these blocks actually generate some lag in this world. <laughs> oh man, all this world gin. It is, it is not like this. But I am finding some good stuff. We ended up getting another uh, legendary, which uh, unlocks some higher tier blocks. But it does seem like it's eternal day. Like, this is not moving at all. So, that's kind of unfortunate. I'm thinking about rebuilding this whole dimension uh, because of that. And uh, just basically starting a new one. So, like I mentioned before, we can put this in here and extract. And as you can see, we have all of these pulled back out. And we're back with an empty dimension. So, what I could do is I could go ahead and hopefully search for a, a, a permanent night if we have anything like that that exists. Honestly, if we change really anything in here, the chances of it re-rolling something different um, is pretty high. So I don't know what these digit dimlets do. 
Here's a time, which is normal. Um, then we have flatter, which I should have used. Did I not use that in here? I thought I did. So this is the attribute. And I believe I have to put this before the biome. Where does the attribute go? Does it tell me the error? Um, okay, attributes. Attributes should come before the terrain. So in this case, unless this is the terrain, do I, oh, actually, I don't think I have a full terrain demolit yet. So I'm actually working on uh, maybe a new block, a new block that I found that also has a lot of EMC. Uh, maybe some golden apples. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite uh, quite interesting. Um, we can do a block template, and this one's gonna be even crazier. Um, and I'm gonna add it actually to the actually actually I'm gonna remove the endurium because I uh, this is actually better than the endurium, and maybe I can just regen the whole. You know what? I don't want to regen the whole thing. We'll see. We'll see what I can actually do. Um, so golden carrots. This is a, an entire crate because it was like a legendary thing that was like a uh, like a golden apple crate. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna need some dimensional shards. Golden apple crate, four of these. It's like really, really cheap as well. Um, it requires this, this, and this, and this. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I love this. I love stuff like this. Okay, so the flatter is not gonna work, um, but I am gonna find some other stuff to add to this. So I think at this point, we should be able to go. I'm gonna store this, and this is going to be our golden apples dimension. Um, I mean, the only thing I'm running is a time, basically making sure time is normal, so that way we at least have a night time. Um, and this is actually really cheap. <laughs> really cheap for what it is. All right, uh, let's go to golden apples, dial, and this one shouldn't be nowhere near as laggy as our other one. Oh, wow. And it actually generated this really weird world, but look, look at the golden apples. It, it What is this? It's like some void, but it's not void. This is just glass. Hold on, let's put some night vision on. Oh, my. This is so cheaty. We can see completely through the world, which means, for example, this down here, I noticed there is a slimy boy down here. That's pretty wicked. Okay. Um, <laughs> and of course, like, all you gotta do is just mine through this. We can see straight through as if we have x-ray. Not to mention, these are golden apples worth 148,000 EMC per crate, and they are just wood, basically to mine. Um, so if I was to use something like, I don't know, let's use our Project E tools. Let's use this. It's fully charged. Oh, we can't actually use it on that. That's interesting. It doesn't have the... Uh, it's not doing it, but I could use this and not drop it on mobs. Now this will do it. And I mean, these are stacks upon stack. That's 9 million per stack right there. That's, that's easy money. Easy, easy, easy. I actually like this dimension. So yeah, this makes these uh, slimes so easy to see. Um, I wonder if like a mob swab would actually work on this as well. So this is RF tools dimension blob common. I want, we could probably make a spawner out of these. So instead of me killing like a rare one I find, I definitely, definitely need to mob swab it instead. There it is. This is the rare. We're mob swabbing this bad boy. I'm gonna kill it, but we're mob swabbing it. Okay, it's it's collected and it says rare. I really hope that it, like it will work. Oh boy, we ended up getting five rare dimensional. Oh, this is so nice. That's the first one I've seen. Like I've been running around here for a while 
and I'm so glad I seen that. But I guess that's the name, rare. If I find a legendary, that would just be like above and beyond. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna try and make, oh boy, it says right here, DNA. I'm gonna try and make this oh, into a spawn egg. And I really hope this works. I'm not, I have no idea what to expect as far as a spawn egg goes, but I'm hunting down some chickens. Chicken has been located. Happy birthday, Doco! Oh man. And no spawn egg. I was really hoping I could spawn it in that way. Um, however, we do have a few. The only thing I didn't do was mob imprisonment tool it. Um, which I might be able to get around to do, but, uh, I still, I, I have enough, I think, to make a dimension with, uh, you know, a bit more umph to it. But, we're gonna have to worry about that next episode, because today, I've gotta thank the sponsor of today's video. That, my friends, is gonna be a huge thanks going to Vino or Vino? Either one, thank you so much for your amazing support, by the way. Over on the Discord, being a Discord Diamond supporter, absolutely appreciate your face. Thank you so much. And of course, guys, if you're interested in joining the Discord yourself, all you have to do is go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. And while you're there, check out all the channels. We have so many channels for you guys to hang out with, hang out in. Not to mention, we do have a vanilla SMP server that's absolutely free for anyone to join. So be sure to check that out and have some fun over there with some vanilla and your friends. Of course, guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to click that subscribe button and uh, leave, a, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you enjoyed the most in this video or what you want to see next. And of course, guys, I will see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.